Hello and a warm welcome to the AI with Arun show. This is our weekly briefing on the top 10 AI related news from around the world. First up, Microsoft made waves at Build 2025, unveiling over 50 new AI tools. These tools are building what they call as an agentic web, a future where AI agents autonomously browse the web or even handle transactions for you. Imagine AI booking your flights or researching for you seamlessly. This could transform how developers build apps and how we use the internet. According to VentureBeat, this is a game changer for user experiences. What do you think? Exciting or a bit futuristic? Two, Google stole the show at its I.O. conference. Their AI agents can now surf the web to answer your questions, rolled out to all US users this week. They also introduced Search Live for real-time results and automated purchasing features. This isn't just search, it's AI acting on your behalf. People say that Google puts head to head with AI startups. So what happens when AI starts searching better than you? Here's a blockbuster collaboration. Journey Ive, the design genius behind Apple's iPhone, is teaming up with OpenAI on a $6.5 billion AI project. While the details are still emerging, they are working on innovative AI hardware or interfaces. As reported on X and Tech Media, this could blend stunning design with cutting-edge AI. Imagine an AI device as sleek as an iPhone. What could Johnny I bring to AI? Let's dream big for a moment. Google is making headlines again with a bold new move. A $249.99 a month AI subscription for power users. Yes, you heard that right. This premium plan offers advanced AI features for those who want the best. It's a sign of how AI companies are monetizing AI's potential. This could set a new standard for premium AI services. So would you pay for elite AI tools? Think about it. Now let's head to the Middle East. The United Arab Emirates just announced plans to build the world's largest AI data center outside the US. This is a massive step to make the UAE a global AI hub. Now this isn't just about tech. It's about shifting the power balance of AI power. Imagine the innovation this could spark in the region. The UAE is betting big on AI. Sticking with the Middle East, Saudi Arabia is going all in on AI. They are buying hundreds of thousands of NVIDIA's advanced AI chips. This will supercharge their AI infrastructure. This move doesn't just boost Saudi Arabia. It could reshape global AI hardware supply chains. Picture a moment powered by cutting-edge AI chips. This is a massive investment. Next up, let's talk about AI's societal impact. A new UN report warns that women are more likely than men to lose jobs to AI automation. This raises serious concerns about gender disparities in the workforce. AI's benefits are huge, but they come with challenges that we cannot ignore. Policymakers need to act to ensure fairness. This hits home, doesn't it? How do we balance AI's progress with equity and equality? Let's reflect on that. Here is a sobering story in the US. A lawsuit against an AI chatbot company is moving forward. It claims that the chatbot contributed to a user's suicide. Reported on X and verified by legal news, this case questions AI's role in mental health. It could set a legal precedent for holding AI companies accountable. This is a wake-up call for ethical AI design. Should AI have safeguards for mental health? It's a tough one, but a very critical question. Let's wrap up with two big tech advances. OpenAI brought back its Codex model with new features and added PDF export to ChatGPT 4.1. Meanwhile, Tencent in China launched a multimodal video AI model for advanced content creation. These strengthen AI's role in coding and media. From the US to China, AI innovation is thriving. It's exciting, right? What are these innovations spark your interest? My call to you, stay informed and engage with AI responsibly. And thank you for watching the weekly AI news on only the AI with Arun show.